today, we're checking out the dinosaurs here at the Natural History Museum. So originally, I was going to do a walkthrough of the man-made cave that they have here at the Natural History Museum, but unfortunately, it's closed right now. They're saying that it may open in early July, but I figured we'd come in and see what's new with all the dinosaurs. As you can see at the wall there, there is a big dinosaur going by. This is the Allosaurus fragilis. Allosaurus fragilis. Name translates to different reptile. This big guy here, they should really like close this window and put like a light on him right here. Because you can see like if I move my hand away, it'll just go dark. But if you're here live, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Let's see what he's called. The Desplotosaurus Honorary. This is pretty interesting. The Pterodon Sternbergi, late Cretaceous period. This guy, this is one of the wings. One of the wings that they flew with. I guess this is what the body would look like. Man, that's crazy. So there's multiple different ways that you can go. As soon as you enter the natural history part of the museum up here, you'll come down and you can see all the dinosaurs. You can go past all this and then go down to the Space Museum, which part of it leads into what is soon going to be this. I think they put this whole science exhibit on hold because of COVID. I don't know when they're going to start putting all that stuff back together. Hopefully here soon. This big monster up here is called the Torvosaurus Tanner. Torvosaurus Tanner. And he is a big one. He's another, and this is uh, something I was talking about in my last video too, as you can see his jaw here. He's got that lock jaw where he can just latch on to anything, which probably makes him pretty deadly. Also, all throughout all the museum, they have different facts and stuff. I just wanted to show this giant bone. And I believe this goes to this Apatosaurus Louise. I don't know where they come up with these names. Why don't they just call it Big Dinosaur? There's the name there, if you can pronounce that, known as Deceptive Reptile. Kind of looks like a brontosaurus, not as tall of a neck. But look at that. Man. That's as tall as I am. Okay, so from the dinosaur that I just showed you there, the Apatosaurus, this is a scale of how tall it would be from the leg. Now that goes almost to 10 feet there, but as you can see, that may actually go higher. I don't know if this is the missing bone, and they just wanted to put that on display, but as you can see here, they have the fossils that they are starting to connect. So what they do is once they get the fossils finished and everything, they polish them up and then they'll put this on this large scale. To give you an idea, one rib here is about as tall as I am. So probably close to six feet. Here we got the Diplodocus SP, whatever the SP stands for. Well, he looks like a little smaller version of this big guy up here. Not sure his name. We may have to go around the side there and check it out. But as you can see how they have the rail here, how they actually line up the bones to where it would fit exactly with the dinosaur. I mean, it's real. You know, these are real. It's, it's incredible. Okay, so the big guy that we see here, the daddy looking version, this is a Gallimopus papsti, papsti. As you can see here, he is enormous. Good Lord. I'll leave a link in the video description below. I did a, a massive video on the entire Natural History Museum part here. I also did a video on the Maya exhibition, which is pretty interesting. I'll leave those links below so you can check those out if you like. These dinosaurs, I'm not noticing anything new here. Um, we're gonna check the lab and see if they finished the Triceratops that they were working on the last time I was here. 
This is an interesting globe here. They show you how the world continued to form and basically turn into what it is today. And it counts down from, well, you can see the countdown here from hundreds of millions of years ago. I mean, that is too cool. If you've never been to the Cincinnati Museum here at Union Terminal, I highly recommend it. Uh, we got the lab right over here, just past the dinosaurs. And I do believe they are expanding this. Um, they used to have an exhibit here, which was really cool. Oh, I guess the lab's closed. Darn. Yeah, see, the last time they were working on it, it, it looked, I wasn't, I'm not sure, but it looked like the head of a triceratops that they were uh, doing some work on back here. There's something back here, but I can't really make it out. The lights are off but you can watch them all work here. I swear this whole scene right here, when I don't know if they just aren't working today. Um, I know the museum's only open for about another hour, but this is really cool to watch, kind of like Jurassic Park. Right across from the lab here, they have all these fossils and stuff. Some of them uh, from here in Cincinnati from millions of years ago, which that is really cool. I do dive a lot more into that in the other video, which I will leave a link down below. But they have a lot of history here, a lot of different information that any, anything you want to know about dinosaurs. What's also awesome, too, is they have uh, different people walking around and they know all the information on all these dinosaurs. So I don't know if this is just the baby version of the Gallimipus, but those were in... Uh, Jurassic Park, the movie, the little Gallimipus things that are running in a herd. Pretty cool. I guess, I don't know if this is the daddy version. They got the same name, except for this one. CFG Pabsty. So I don't know if those are the smaller ones. Also named Sauropod Dinosaur, meaning that it is new to science. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yes, this is the cousin of the Diplodocus, <laughs> which is this one right here. So they're cousins. Too cool. Okay, so speaking of Jurassic Park, this is something that Alan Grant talks about in Jurassic Park, the movie. Sorry, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, so I gotta, gotta point things out when I notice them. But these Confucianoris. Confucius soreness they're kind of like little small raptors they talk about like if it was a bird if you notice here on the bottom that it has a talon just like the raptors right there on that one toe there I thought that was really interesting they're small uh, they're probably uh, maybe three or four feet tall Kind of hard to tell the way they have them here, but yeah, I can't see them getting more than uh, four feet tall. Cool looking though. So I guess, doesn't really say here, but I guess they have two different heads of this guy. Let's get a better look at them teeth. Pretty vicious looking. They also have all different kinds of artifacts, fossils, from just so long ago, I can't even, I don't even know, millions of years ago, billions maybe. I'm not sure they even know, but one thing I do know is it's old. I don't know how well this looks through the glass for you guys here, but if you see the way they polished these bones here, I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. They do a great job. Here's some more notable ones that you guys will probably know, a little more familiar for me. Up here, and I'll show you in a second, we got a me Megalosaurus lower jaw, a Stegosaurus vertebrae, and a Dilophagos tailbone. The Stegosaurus vertebrae, which I assume that this is part of like how they have the spikes coming out of their back like that. I bet that's the bone that has the spike. It's too cool. And this right here, is the Dilopica, Dilopithecus tailbone. Be right over 
right at the, the end of his tail there toward the back vertebrae. And here, we got the lower jaw of the Megalosaurus, which was middle Jurassic period 165 million years ago. This jaw is the name bearing specimen for the first named fossil dinosaur. That's cool. I guess they saved, saved one of the teeth there. and All these are kind of mangled up. That is crazy. This is one of my favorite little areas right here. Here are the tools that they use when they are digging up dinosaurs. That's a little bit of an example. You can see what kind of brushes they use. The acetone that they have to use so that they, they don't tear it apart with the brush with real brittle fossil or rock around it. All the little excavating tools they use. I guess this might be something they just left for display. But I mean this is real. These are these are real fossils inside here. And these are the tools they use to dig them up. There is a lot more information that I'm showing you on the video today. There is a lot of stuff to cover. I really just wanted to come down and see if there was anything new with the dinosaurs. It uh, doesn't look like anything has changed so far. My main intention coming down here today was to go to the cave. The cave is closed, and that's okay. We got to check out the dinosaurs. That's going to do it for us at the Natural History Museum today. Hope you guys had a great time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like. Subscribe down below. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.